you'll need to tie a knot at the end of a gut or a monofilament nylon string to secure it against the back of the soundboard. For thinner strings, you'll also need to add a toggle, also called an anchor or a spline or a string end, to prevent the knot from pulling through the hole in the soundboard when you bring the string up to pitch. A toggle is just a short piece of a thick string, about three quarters of an inch to an inch long. Use a piece of a .050 to .055 gauge string or a fourth or fifth octave string to make your toggle. You usually won't need to add a toggle when tying a knot in the thicker strings such as the fourth and fifth octaves, but this will depend partly on how big the eyelets are in your soundboard and what kind of knot you use. If there's any chance that a string will pull through the soundboard when you bring it up to pitch, always be sure to use a toggle. There's a variety of ways to tie these string knots. I'll show you two different ways, and you can see fully illustrated PDFs on our website showing you the instructions. This first is the traditional way to tie the knot. Have the short end of the string in your right hand. Starting about one half to three quarters of an inch from the end, make two loops. Be sure that the part of the string that connects the loops is in front of the loops and not behind the loops, so it looks kind of like a smiley face with a smile on the front. You're going to keep the right hand loop. Put it through the left loop from the back and then gently pull the long end of the string so your knot looks like this. Then take your toggle, insert it in the small knot, and tighten it as much as you can. If you tie the knot correctly, the more you pull on the long end of the string, the tighter the knot will become. If you tie it backwards, as you pull on the long end of the string, the knot will untie. For the thinner strings, and to help keep the toggle in place, you can tie another loop around the finished knot. Another way to make the knot is to start with the toggle and tie the knot around it. Start by making half a knot about one half to three quarters of an inch from the end of the string. Insert the toggle and tighten. Take the end of the string and lay it against the toggle. Make a loop and put it over both the string end and the toggle and secure them together. For thinner, higher strings, you want to do this again. Make another loop, put it over the string end and the toggle, and tighten. This will make the knot very secure. No matter which method you choose to tie the knot, if you don't tie the knot close enough to the end of the string, you'll end up with a long tail sticking out. Be sure to cut off the excess before you pull the string through the back of the sound box. Otherwise, this long tail can vibrate against the wood and cause buzzing. 